What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Widows. Let's rock this. I was looking forward to this film probably because for the same reason why everybody else was looking forward to it, and that is it's because this is director Steve McQueen's latest film since his 12 Years a Slave won Best Picture Oscar a few years back, on top of the fact that, of course, the stellar ensemble that this film features. That said, although Widows has some strong traits, and some interesting creative choices, and a decent setup for the problems that the characters have to face. The film, however, suffers from underdeveloped subtext, a few neglected unanswered questions, and a high sequence that could go a bit smarter. Scripted by Gillian Flynn and director Steve McQueen, this crime drama slash thriller is about four women with nothing in common except a debt left behind by their dead husband's criminal activities. Forced by financial trouble and threatened by gangsters, the women have no choice but to take matters into their own hands and conspire together on a criminal act. Widow script is written by best-selling author Gillian Flynn, whose previous work Gone Girl made quite a splash, so to speak. But Widows is not based on any of her books. It's actually based on a UK TV series by Linda LaPlante. To me, Widows works better as a drama than a thriller. I mean, if only the thriller aspect could be as passionate as the romance between Viola Davis and Liam Neeson's characters, because my god, there's a scene in which it seems as if they could go on locking lips and exchanging saliva for hours. Unfortunately, that level of passion is not fairly distributed among the other women characters whose drama with their respective husbands is simply touched on just for a few minutes. Even the aftermath, the way that these women are supposed to deal with grief, we never really get to see that except perhaps for Viola Davis. Now, you can argue it's because Viola Davis is the biggest star here, but I was under the impression that this is an ensemble. I also feel like the writing plays it safe. The characters fall into typical tropes, if you will. There are some unresolved arcs or unmet expectations, which is what I implied earlier with unanswered questions. Well, for one, I really, really like the interaction between Colin Farrell and Robert Duvall. Colin plays this ambitious son who despises being in the shadow of his dad. So the conflicts or the confrontations between those two are some of this film's most memorable moments. And yet, the way one of them meets his demise is too convenient, and they close up the other person's story simply by way of news radio. I just feel like the audiences are owed a much better written ending than just that. The film also tries too hard to make Daniel Kaluuya be some kind of a Black Anton Chigurh. You remember Anton Chigurh, right? He's that guy played by Javier Bardem in No Country for Old Men, who is basically a sociopath. That's what they're trying to do with Daniel Kaluuya's character in Widows, but Kaluuya's character is just over the top. His character's killings feel more like the movie's taking a break just to show him, rather than something that feels like a journey that is part of the movie. Cinematically, I do enjoy that scene when Colin Farrell's character is talking to his assistant inside a moving car, but all you see is just the outside view from the camera mounted on top of the car's front hood. I find that whole sequence to be absolutely fascinating. But back to the women. Other than Viola, the rest of those characters don't have depth. And eventually, the movie wants to sell you this team that's ready for a heist but I'm just not buying it. And the film doesn't feel even. Too much focus on one and not enough on the other. So overall, Widows has its positives, but if you're expecting a near-perfect thriller like Gone Girl, you may want to keep your hopes down a bit. So that's it. That's my review of Widows. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTube verse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Rama Screen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this.